Hey everybody, my name is Bill. Today we're going to take a look at the ever so popular line of HDMI splitters from Arai. They come in three different flavors. We have the HD102, HD104, and the HD108. Let's take a closer look. So, for those of you who have never used an HDMI splitter before, it's pretty much just what it sounds like. It is a small device which is going to allow you to split the output from a cable box, satellite TV receiver, laptop, computer, game console, and output the signal to more than one TV, all the way from two to eight different TVs. Now, you've probably seen this before in restaurants, bars, airports, schools, churches, places like that. Often you're going to see a bunch of TVs with the same image on each TV. Chances are they're using an HDMI splitter in the back room. Now, you can also use these at home. Let's say you have more than one TV you want to be able to display on, maybe in different rooms, or potentially you have a projector and a TV in the same room and you want to be able to watch on both or choose which one without having to unplug all of your devices and move it over to the projector and back to the TV. HDMI splitter is going to be your best way to get that done. Now, these come packed nicely in a box with everything you need. There isn't a lot to it. Pretty much you have the device itself, you're going to have the appropriate power supply, and a little instruction booklet. Everything you need to get up and running. Let's talk about some interesting features. First off, it's important to know that these boxes will accept a signal, an input signal of up to 4K but they're going to downscale it and the maximum output signal to the displays is 1080p. Now, with that said, if one of your display devices is a 720p and one of them is a 1080p, the boxes will detect that and they will output the same signal to all of those TVs. So what it's going to do is realize that the maximum resolution of that one device is 720p. It will also output at 720p to the display as well, even though it can accept 1080p. So that's an important fact to remember, your lowest common denominator will determine the output resolution. Other thing I wanna point out is when you are setting this up, you wanna to try to stick to about a 50 foot cable as your maximum cable run. This is gonna give you the best picture, sound, quality, and in general, if you're doing this for a long-term installation, you wanna make sure that you're using a good cable and 50 feet is the max. Also important to point out is if you're outputting from a laptop or a computer, this isn't going to give you a separate screen, rather it will duplicate what you see on the screen. So it's only gonna mirror the image you already see. If you're using a device like this, obviously warranty is going to be important. You want to make sure that any questions you have are answered. And if you have any technical problems with the device, you simply go to awry.com. Their support team is fantastic and they're going to help you out. You have a one year warranty to get all the bugs worked out. So enough of me talking. Let's go ahead and set one of these up and see just how simple it is. So here in my hand, I have the HD 102. What I'm going to do here is I am going to first plug in the power supply. Now, like I said, this is included in the box. And then on the front of the unit, I am going to plug in the input from my laptop. So I have an HDMI cable connected to the output of my laptop. And I'm going to connect that to the input on the HD 102. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the second HDMI cable I have and plug it into the output one on the HD 102 and I'm going to plug it into this monitor right over here beside me and then I'm going to take my second HDMI cable and plug it into the HDMI output 2 which is plugged into this TV way back here behind me and I'm going to go ahead here and just wake up my laptop and sure enough we should get a signal on both. You can see how simple it is to get this set up. Now, obviously, if you wanted to use the 104 or the 108, it would be exactly the same process, that single cable into the unit and up to four or eight cables out to the appropriate displays. So guys, that is just how simple these devices are. And like I said, they're fantastic. There's endless amounts of uses for them. Um, so if you're looking to display on multiple TVs, churches, bars, restaurants, office, or even in your home, Check out Arai.com for the HDMI 102, 104, or 108.
Thanks for watching guys. Be sure to check out the rest of the products on the site there and we'll be back soon with another tutorial.